One thing I really like about playing in the orchestra is the total concentration. When you play in the orchestra, you don't think about anything else. You don't think about all the stresses, all the deadlines, all the other stuff in your life. You are totally absorbed by the music. You, you are part of the music. And that is one of the things that makes me want to keep playing and playing and playing and not stop. I love that feeling of being totally absorbed by the music. I moved to Johnstown in 1970. Uh, John and I had just graduated from college and we got married that summer and we showed up in town because John was gonna work for Bethlehem Steel and Fred Pullen told me there was a symphony that I should join. And so I just showed up at a rehearsal and I found a seat in the back of the second violins. And so that's when I started, 1970. When I was four years old, my older sister, who was five years older, um, told me I was going to play the violin. Uh, she had started playing the violin because she saw a friend playing the violin. And um, actually, she taught me to ride a bicycle and anything I learned major. It was this sister named Damaris who taught me. So I began playing open strings on a quarter size violin because it was too big for me. I was the youngest of four children, and the plan was that I would be the second violin. So that my sisters played violin and viola, and my brother played cello. And I have almost always been a second violin. I think it was about six when my father arranged a hymn for us to play as a quartet. He took the hymn now the day is over. And he broke it into parts that we work for our skills. <laughs> and that is the one I remember the best is playing Now the Day is Over. I took private lessons um, all through school. You know, I had lessons at school and private lessons. But when I could no longer take private lessons was when I began to really enjoy it. After college, I uh, joined the symphony and it, um, it took a while, but there was a day when I just suddenly realized it felt right to be on stage. It felt right to be where I was. I was no longer nervous. And um, I really had to work very hard to stay in the symphony. Another thing I did every time a major thing happened in our lives, whether it was having a baby or being afraid we'd have to move. I made a list of pros, you know, activities that were important to me. And the symphony was always right at the very top. Well, I knew that it was very special to be able to play in this um, quality of an orchestra. Uh, in most cities, you have to be um, right at the very top to play in an orchestra that people will pay and come see <laughs> and hear. Or you're playing in um, a community orchestra that nobody comes to hear. But mm -hmm. we're very fortunate here. We have the support of the community. It's just a very special place to play in Johnstown. But I have noticed when I've talked with people who come from other areas, they come from Pittsburgh and West Virginia and uh, Altoona, they come from, and IUP. I, I understand they really like playing in our orchestra. Um, they like the way the mu musicians have a collegiality, and we're all just trying to make beautiful music. Uh, we're not, uh, it's not cutthroat competition. Um, it's, um, it's just very special to play in this orchestra. I hope it's just a natural part of how we function. 
Um, I also play in the community strings. And that is a group that um, is so enthusiastic and so appreciative of the opportunity to play. And we play real music. These are people who uh, either took lessons as children and stopped, or they began as adult beginners. Mm -hmm. And I, it's actually, it, at first it was a little bit of a challenge to play with them because I am so used to listening to other people and adjusting what I'm playing to other people, the sounds I hear. And in that group, initially, I had to remember, I've got to play what I know is right. I will share with you one experience. Um, it was um, a night with really bad weather. Um, and we were playing the first rehearsal of the planets for the first time for me. And when we got to Jupiter, Jupiter was amazing. But then there's this place where it's very quiet and this gorgeous, gorgeous melody comes up. And it just, I was overwhelmed when I heard it for the first time. And so every time we play the Jupiter, or I hear the Jupiter, I'm taken back to that moment when I heard it for the first time. Um, so it's very hard to pick a piece and a moment, but that, that's what I keep going back to is Jupiter. You listen to people talk about when they knew that this was what they were going to do with their life. And it's a calling. It's a calling to enter, to devote your whole life to music. And it's a calling that I accepted to become an Episcopal priest. This is for everybody. This, this music that we play is for the whole community. <laughs> 